Hello channel viewers. Thank you for being back with me. I have a customer project, a Husqvarna K750. Big blade concrete saw. From what he said, doesn't want to run properly. It'll, it'll fire up with, uh, you know, some flammable liquid. Anyway, we're going to try to get this going. I know absolutely nothing about this thing. So let's get on it. Brand new air filter. Somebody's already been in it. Which I already know. He told me he was. Oh, that's wonderful. There 
with fuel in it. I wonder if it was any good. Has some premix, fifty to one, and uh, basically I only use this to start. I don't fill it and run them very long with this stuff. But I like to put fresh fuel in because I don't know what kind of fuel a customer uses. Compression lever right there. So there's really nothing there. It's got, feels like it's got compression. Even with the decompression mechanism. Okay, so I've got the, the shell off of it, side cover, and get into this carburetor. So I'm going to try to get that out.
Alright, so... Let's get this carburetor apart. Needle's not stuck.
That's pretty filthy. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Alright, well... Let's put this back together.
All right, channel viewers, thank you for being back with me. Um, I got my my two favorite cold snacks. Um, so I'm back on this big machine. I've been waiting on the carburetor and you know um, so the Husqvarna carburetor is not even available it's discontinued you can't get it so I had to go after market this is what I ended up with the customer knows that I had to go <clears throat> go this route um, I researched and researched and researched to no avail to get in, you know, uh, um, I guess I could kind of say a much better high quality carburetor, um, but it is what it is. I, I can't really do anything more than this. So we're going to get started on this. Um, I got to take it all back apart again. And anyway. Pretty nice day out, so I'm working with the garage door wide open, my neighbor's mowing, so we'll have to put up with that, not a big deal. So uh, to, to get back on, on this, I had... I'd taken it apart, taken the carburetor apart, cleaned it, put it back together, the thing still will not fire. And I thought maybe the spark plug was was bad because it had been uh, melted down. And uh, <clears throat> so I I just went ahead and uh, got a new one. Uh, it was the gap, basically didn't didn't even exist. So I'm gonna reset the gap here, um, clean it up, uh, get the rust off of it, uh, and put the new carburetor in, and hopefully that works because this thing has been a a royal pain for the owner he's a friend of mine he hasn't been in a hurry he's technically it's not even his I'm just rambling but you know enjoy the show technically it's his brother-in-law's or something like that and uh He's he got fed up with trying to mess with it, so <clears throat> he called on me. I said, "Sure, I'll take a look at it." 
And this thing was filthy. You know, because it cuts concrete. A lot of dust, a lot of uh, water. It just kind of makes mud. I don't know if you can see this. But one of the one of these is actually bent over. It's rusty. The flywheel can be cleaned up a bit more or a bit. <laughs> Because it's a mess. So let me go grab some sandpaper and I'll be right. Somehow I managed to mess that up, <laughs> unpaused it. <clears throat> but I wanted to show you um, a new tool, a new set of tools. I have two different sets of picks. And let me grab them for you. Don't mind my extreme mess here. I just told my wife I have got to get a new toolbox because this is stupid. I have such a lack of storage ability in this garage, but my garage is really tiny. Well, it's a, in reality, I would almost call it a comfortably a car and a half, but you can fit two cars in here. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. So, I have this orange handled, really cheap um, Harbor Freight. You can buy these things in like, what are they called? Uh, truck stops, flea markets. They're just exceedingly cheap. Then I have my snap-on ones. They are slightly larger than than the cheap ones. But then I bought these Milwaukee ones, not because I needed more, obviously I don't, 
but the handles I mean, just look at this. Look at that. You can actually... Look at the length of that. You can actually grip this thing and be able to use it comfortably. That's why I bought it. I am not a Milwaukee... Um, connoisseur. I don't buy them. I don't use them. Um, but this was on sale. So I went ahead and got them because of the size of the handle. So anyway. Uh, so anyway, I went to grab the the uh, Milwaukee ones because I want to try to get that one piece to stand back up and I got my sandpaper and just so you know I am using my Insta360 Ace Pro to actually do the recording but I'm watching it on my phone so I don't have to try to look on the back side of my camera um, to check for for this I really like this Insta360 Grab a pair of pliers, I'll be right back. All right, so I got that. It's amazing how many times I pull machines apart and have to do this. Really clean up those, those areas because they're so rusty. see that pretty well that is some good amount of rust so I'll take the sandpaper and clean that up and
Let's get this put back on. Okay, so I set the gap. Uh, I just used the old business card gap setter thing or my bob. Like I was stating earlier, I cannot find anything in my toolbox. See the, the length of this? Unnecessary. But I can't find a bit holder that's any shorter. Alright, so that was highly irritating. For the life of me, I could not get this black surround to come off. Didn't realize there was another screw right here and right here. I fought and fought and fought with this thing. As you can see, I've got the whole thing 
removed from the actual engine. Man, if I never work on this again, I'll be all right. No offense, Marcus. No, I'm leaking gas. Put that back on there. This is one of the most complicated machines I've ever had to deal with. Finally. Wow. So I got most of it put back together, the new carburetors in. I didn't show that whole thing. You seen me take it apart. Thing's a nightmare. Uh, <clears throat> got the side case back on. Um, but it still works. I can't remember if I did a compression test on it because it's been probably a couple months. So let me grab my um, compression tester and yeah, I'll see what that's. Okay, so it's got about 91, 92. PSI in it. Hi Benji.
All right, so moving on. Yeah, that was my compression tester hitting the floor. Benji's my dog, by the way. Benji. <laughs> Little camera shy. Benji. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely camera shy. Come here. Benji. See his little necktie? Little Halloween. I don't celebrate Halloween, but the groomer put a Halloween necktie on him. He's such a good dog. He's such a good dog. Come on. Go back in. Good boy. All right, I'll be back, back with you. I'm going to try to start this. It's kind of hard to start and record because I have to have it on the floor. And yeah, okay, I'll just keep it on there.
I can't believe that started. I don't think you know what that means to me. That was a lot of work. Doesn't really seem like it, but yeah, it probably took me good. I don't know, 45 minutes off camera just to go through some things and, uh, this is a long video. It runs. I can't believe it. It runs. Oh. Unbelievable. Yes. Well, I can deliver it back to the owner. Uh, thank you, Insta360 Ace Pro, for doing what I think is a good job of recording. I do have an affiliate link to uh, um, Insta360. If you would uh, check it out, possibly buy something that would help me out. Um, everything that I do, everything I purchase, everything that um, uh, tools, uh, four-wheeler machines, uh, dirt bikes, small engines, etc., etc., um, shop supplies, you know, brake clean, carb clean, um, extra fuel. Um, did I mention the tools? Probably, but the tools. I spend a lot of money and I do not make anything from, um, YouTube, uh, I only have 218 subscribers, which I am very, very uh, thankful for. But when I look at my, um, my, my YouTube channel stuff, 97% of you are not subscribed. It's free. It'll help me out. Uh, give it a thumbs up subscribe, leave a comment, share it, um, and please do yourself and me a favor. Check out the Insta360. Um, I am using the Ace Pro and I have never touched a setting on this camera. And so it probably could get better but I haven't needed it. I haven't needed to change anything. Um, I have not, I still haven't gotten my other um, Acaso Brave 8. I can't figure out how to use that thing. And the amount of people that I've heard that have negative reviews on the GoPro, this camera right here is exceedingly easy to use. I turn it on, I hit record, and I go after it. And it is strong. Um, I've got a video coming out in the, in the near future of me out trail riding up in Mayo, Michigan. And this camera was attached to the four-wheeler. And it went flying. And, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a good camera. I really like it.
So please, please do me a favor. Check out my affiliate link. It'll be in the description. Um, check out my videos. Like, share, subscribe. And for now, probably a very hearty break time. Thanks.